Welcome back to Local 4 Today. Time now, 6.38. Voter ID laws are changing here in Nebraska, and it's something that you'll need to be ready for come the primary on May 14th. Secretary of State Bob Evnen here with more on that. Thank you for being here this morning. Melissa, glad to be with you. All right, so let's de uh, d dive deep into it here. So first, those acceptable ID forms. People do have to remember that they're going to need some form of ID now. This is an historic election, Melissa, because mm -hmm. this will be the first time our primary on May 14 will be the first time in Nebraska history when people will be required to show a photo ID in order to vote. Right. Uh, and uh, the 97 or 98 percent of our Nebraska registered voters have a state issued uh, photo ID from the Department of Motor Vehicles, either the driver's license or a state issued ID. Those are both acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, so the overwhelming majority of our voters have those, but there are a number of other forms of ID that are acceptable uh -huh. too. Uh, a U.S. passport, okay. a U.S. military ID, uh, a student ID from okay. a Nebraska college or university, private or public, if it's a photo ID. Uh, so these are a variety of other uh, forms of ID that are also acceptable. Sure. And if they don't have that ID, they can go to the DMV and get an ID. Is that right? Yes. Uh, if you don't have an ID, you'd like to get one, you can go to the DMV. They'll provide you with a state-issued photo ID at no charge. If you were born in Nebraska and you need a birth certificate, you can get that from Vital Statistics also okay. at no charge. Very nice. All right, now when it comes to going to the polls, anything that we need to kind of be ready for other than bringing that ID with us? Of course, we want to make sure that we are going to the right polling site, right? Right. You'll, you'll be notified of where your polling site is located. Uh, bring your ID with you. But even if you forget your ID, well, if you forget your ID and it's a driver's license, I'm, I'm wondering how you got there. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's another department. That's not mine. Uh, even if you arrive at the polls and you don't have an ID, you'll still be able to mark a ballot. It'll be put aside as a provisional ballot, and you'll have, uh, you'll have a week to come in to the county clerk or election commissioner's office okay. uh, to, to provide your ID, and then your ballot will be counted. Or if you forget your ID, you can just go home and get it and bring it back. Sure. But the, the point is, if you do forget your ID at the polls, you'll still be able to mark a ballot. It'll be set aside as a provisional, and you have a week to come in and present your ID. Uh huh. Now, dates that are important <clears throat> leading up to the primary and maybe things that we need to think about, making sure that our paperwork is up to date as far as our voter registration. Right. Uh, the, the first thing I want uh, your viewers to know is that you do not have to re-register. If you are registered to vote now, you're good to go. There is no requirement that you re-register. Okay. Uh, but if you are not registered and you care to, you can register online uh, through April 29. That's the late, last day to register online. Okay. Uh, and if you want to register in person, then after that, at the county clerk or election commissioner's office, May 3rd is that deadline. Okay, lots of great information there. Anything else you want to leave us with? Well, I uh, hope that uh, uh, your voters will, your viewers who are voters, will uh, inform themselves about the issues and the candidates and uh, on May 14 go to the polls. If you vote early, then you request a ballot uh, in writing. Mm -hmm. And when you send that request and then you'll ask me to write down, you'll, you'll be asked, sorry, to write down your, sure. your driver's license number mm -hmm. or your state ID number and send it in. If you don't, if you're using some other form of ID, you make a copy of that and send it in with your request for an early ballot. Okay, lots of great information. Like you said, it's going to be a historic uh, voting session for us here in Nebraska, so lots to think about there. So thank you so much for being here this morning. Alyssa, glad to be with you. All right, well, stick with us. We're talking summer camps in your Facebook talker after the break. Stick with us.